Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train corridor spanning 508 kilometers comprises 465 kilometers of viaduct 25 river bridges 28 steel bridges a 21 kilometer tunnel 8 mountain tunnels 12 state of the art stations and 3 rolling stock depots in order to expedite viaduct construction, the full span girder launching technique is being used for the first time in India, a method that is 10 times faster than conventional launching method. Each full span box girder is 40 meters long and weighs about 970 metric tons. Heavy indigenous machinery is being used for constructing the viaduct. The 1,100-ton capacity launching gantry lifts the girder with precision from the girder transporter and places it between two piers. With the use of full-span girder launching technology, a 40-meter long bridge gets ready in just 16 hours. Nearly 323 kilometers of viaduct has been completed with more than 400,000 noise barriers installed on both sides. Overhead electrification masts have also been installed in 53 route kilometers. For the first time in India, the J-Slab ballastless track system is being implemented. The entire track installation process is fully mechanized using machinery specially designed and manufactured to Japanese specifications. So far, 105 route kilometers of RC track bed has been laid while 9 route kilometers of track slab have been laid and cam injected. The first turnout crossing installation has also commenced near Surat bullet train station. More than 1,000 personnel are being trained and certified by JARTS, a Japanese training and certification agency in various fields of track installation and testing technology. Bridges across the 25 rivers are progressing rapidly with 17 already completed. In addition, 28 steel bridges are being constructed to cross highways, expressways and railway lines along the corridor. Of these, 9 have already been completed. The fabrication of these bridges is being carried out in 6 dedicated workshops located across different states of India. Approximately 65,000 metric tons of special grade steel are being used in the construction of these bridges. The bullet train route features eight mountain tunnels that are being constructed using the new Austrian tunneling method. One of the most remarkable parts of the bullet train project is the 21 kilometers long Mumbai Thane Tunnel. It includes a 7 kilometers section beneath Thane Creek, which is the first undersea rail tunnel in India, connecting Mumbai's Bandra Kurla complex to Shilpata in Thane. This engineering marvel utilizes a dual technique approach, the new Austrian tunneling method for 5 kilometers, which has already been achieved and the remaining 16 kilometers through tunnel boring machine with the largest cutter head ever used in an Indian railway project measuring 13.6 meters. To accelerate the bullet train project, multiple construction facilities have been established including casting yards for girders, factories for noise barrier panels, track slab manufacturing facilities, track construction bases, and tunnel lining segment yard. Along the corridor, three rolling stock depots are also under construction with work progressing at a rapid pace. Each of the 12 stations along the bullet train route is being designed to showcase the local art and culture of its city while integrating world-class technology and state-of-the-art facilities. In the heart of Mumbai, the underground bullet train station at Bandra Kurla complex is taking shape nearly 32 meters below ground, equivalent to a 10-story building in depth 
it has been developed as a world class transit hub above it a 90 meter tall superstructure will rise designed to house offices commercial spaces and residential facilities inspired by the dandi march movement the multimodal transport hub near sabarmati bullet train station has been completed it will provide seamless connectivity to the station western railway the metro and the brts corridor powered by japan's expertise and india's vision the mumbai ahmedabad bullet train project is more than infrastructure it is a symbol of innovation trust and partnership paving the way for a faster and more connected india